Cutting rabbits in your top. For your top to fit on the bottom five pieces of your box, you're going to cut a rabbit joint in all four sides using the dado saw. Your goal is to have the top fit flush with the sides and firmly down into the box. Step 21 in your plan of procedure tells you to clamp up your box just like photo 5 in the classroom. That looks like this photo here. You should have had your instructor check to make sure that your top fits the clamped up pieces of your box. Upon completion of all these steps, now it's time to go to the data saw and start setting up the tool to cut the rabbits in your top. First and foremost, let's set the height of the blade. Remember, the depth of rabbits and dados are always cut half the thickness of the material you're using deep. You'll raise and lower the dado saw blade by turning the front wheel clockwise or counterclockwise to lower it. Step two is going to be setting up the fence. A portion of the blade is going to be what's called buried into the fence which means for this setup, only about a half inch of the blade should be exposed. Just like our other table saws, to adjust the fence, you're gonna to have to unlock the knob, and when done, lock it back in place. So we're gonna cut rabbits on all four sides of our top. How we're gonna do this is by beginning cutting across the straws or across the grain. You're gonna be using a plastic push pad, gently pressing your material down onto the tabletop and towards the fence. Look at this next photo and notice the location of the plastic push pad. It is not against the fence and it is not located over the cutter head. Once you cut both ends across the straws, now cut both sides with the grain direction. This should clean up any tear out that you have. Again notice the push pad is pushing the material against the fence and down on the tabletop, but it is not over the cutter head at all. Now let's watch a short clip on how to complete this step. The operator has the push pad located on the metal tabletop and not over the cutter head. As she cuts across the straws, she transitions to cutting in the direction of the straws or in the direction of the grain. Her left hand is assisting keeping the board against the fence the entire time. Now go get your instructor and let's go complete this step.